We need to move this Delta Children 4-in-1 crib uh, purchased in 2016. So in this video we're going to take it apart and then we'll also show you how to put it back together. Here's the instruction manual and there's the specs on it. Style, lot number. Okay, I have an assistant for this project. A capable assistant. Well, a cute assistant anyway. And we're going to be using some uh, Allen wrench tools here. One fitted to a drill. Thanks Katie for handing me that 4 millimeter. Uh, ball headed wrench that came with a crib. We'll mostly be using that and uh, along with the drill occasionally. Step one is going to be remo to remove this this back, the back of it, and there's two screws, one at the top, one down here, and two more in the same position on the other side. So we'll take those off first. Uh, bearing in mind there's also a couple of pins that you have to keep track of. Okay, so let's get started. Now I'm going to hold on to it as I release this one. Well, actually, it's resting yet. Usually, we lift the piece up. And again, don't forget these pins here. These could be easy to lose. And there we are. Okay, there's four of these little inserts that uh, you need to keep track of because they're going to fall out. I'm going to just slip out. They've got a, a Phillips end to them and they fit in here on the rail like so. So make sure you take those out because if you move it you know, they're going to fall out and you're going to lose them. Okay what I would recommend doing is putting all this hardware into a bag. I've just got a little lunch bag here, zipper bag, and I've labeled it back. So we're going to keep this all separate and I'll wind up with like three little bags. It's going to aid the reassembly greatly. Next we're going to take off the mattress support and there are four screws holding this in on each corner. So we're going to have to use our tool on this. And then once it gets out a little ways we can turn it this way. What we're going to do first is just loosen all four hangers because that way they can pivot once um, we take two off. And then we'll just work from one side and take them off completely on one side and then it can just drop. Once you break them you can get the head in on this one, the, the ball head. This one's already done. So now we're just going to take these two off completely. Now we'll remove these two completely. Now we can set down. Now these I think I'm simply going to self-store and you know, just put them, turn them all in a couple turns rather than put them in a bag. There's only four of them. This can also kind of be a reminder of the level that we want it at. There's three levels here. Okay, next we're going to take out the uh, left and right rail caps. And there's a, there's a couple of screws underneath here. Now this rail comes off. See that there's actually four dowels underneath here. So store those. Three, actually three dowels. See one, two, and three over here. Okay, let's speed it up over here on the left side. Taking out the two screws, the two four millimeters with a, our ball headed wrench. And uh, then we can lift off this cap piece and remove the three pins. Okay, 
final disassembly, we're going to separate the sides from the front, and we have to take the bolts off from the front. Don't, don't mess with the ones on the side. It's going to give you more than you bargained for. And, plop, plop, you're going to see fall your little um, nut, your little dull nut. And that's done. Again, from the front. Kind of hang on to it a little bit at the top. Collect your dowels. And we're just set. And also, I've got the little, I've got the bags with the parts in, the hardware, and a wrench. So you don't forget the wrench and you get to your destination. It's time for reassembly and we have our seven pieces lined up in order here. Starting with the front, the crib front. And what I'm going to do is set this over here. I'm kind of leaning it against the, the couch in this case. So that's the inside bottom of the front. And here we have the right. And that's going to go over here. We'll just set this up here temporarily like that. Okay, so we have our hardware here. Our front to sides hardware. And I'm going to do is slip this screw in here. And now, with our other hand, we're going to slip the, the nut, what I call kind of a dull nut, into the hole and try to find it. we got to get it oriented. Now there is a Phillips head on that, and if you need, you can turn it with that in position. Okay, we got it caught now. Okay, now we're grabbing the left side. Getting that into position here where it's going to go in. Okay, same process. Okay, quickly now attaching the left to the front. First top, then bottom. Okay, now I'm going to use this a four millimeter. And I've got it on a... I've got this set also for very, very low torque. We don't want to strip anything out. That's just a little time saver. Yeah, okay, we'll speed this up. A little drill action. Zzz, zzz, zzz. Next step is the side rails. Okay, so there are two of these. F goes on the uh, on the right side. There you go, right side, bottom. F, and the other one is marked E, and that one's going to go on the left side. So there's our hardware for the rail cramps. There's a total of six pins, three on each side, and four bolts. Okay, one, two, three pins. Slap on the cap. Hi, Katie. She's been working behind the scenes. Okay, now we got one, two, three on the other pins and the other rail cap. And then there's the two uh, bolts. They're two four millimeter Allen headed. We're using our wrench here, ball headed wrench, to uh, very quickly turn this thing in. Tighten it up nice and snug. And we have the other side. Now let's go over to the left side now. Tighten this one up with the screws. This thing doesn't go together too bad. It's not too bad of a project to move it. Okay, getting it all finished up. There we are. Let's move on. Okay, step three is our mattress support. Okay, so what we're going to do is bring this in from one side first. Get it between the rails and then set it down. So there it is in position. Okay, we left our, um, our our screws for mounting this mattress support seated. I'm going to use the middle one, the middle position, and we're going to do this end first, and then um, do the other. Let the let the bottom rest on the floor here. Okay, let's uh, let's hang the mattress back up. So we're going to get them both started on one side first, leave the other side kind of on the floor, and use the Allen wrench now to tighten them up, but not all the way. Leave enough looseness in there. So with that over on the other side here as we lift this up, uh, there's enough flexibility to get it up. And we'll finger tighten this and then use the ball head to snug it up the rest of the way. Yeah, okay, getting this nice and tight now. Tightened up, now we'll go over to the other side and I'll tighten this up as well. 
and make sure it's even the mattress is even on both sides snug it up the rest of the way okay and our mattress support is done okay the back piece is final piece to put in here's the remaining hardware you should have left two pins four of the uh, dowel nuts and four uh, long screws okay let's put these two pins in place and grab our top right our back piece get down underneath sometime maybe in there now it's in place you know just orient this so that it's facing the uh, direction the screw is going to be coming in from okay we're over on the right side and there it is back together in its new home thanks for watching